and we are back with the second half of week three of February 2012. Yep, and we start out with DC Universe Prevents, Presents <laughs> Challengers of the Unknown, Issue 6. I think they made the first run of DC Universe, the first story that they told D of DC Universe Presents, too awesome because I'm. You mean the Dead Man? The, the Dead Man? Dead Man yeah, okay. It was too great because I read this. And I was bored while reading it. I, not bored necessarily. I just felt like some parts where it was just really slow. It was just like, uh huh, okay, uh huh, yeah, that's nice. I mean, it just started out really slow for me. I didn't like it yeah. that much. Um, I like the challenges of the unknown. I've always kind of liked the characters. Um, I was always amused with them when I picked up here and there. I picked up Gold Age books or Brave and the Bulls from way back that would have them in it. Um, I like them anytime they've shown up in most almost anything that I've, I've read. I like the, the characters and whatnot. Um, there was a miniseries uh, probably five or six years ago um, that was out that was pretty cool. Um, so I like the idea of the Challengers of the Unknown. This is a reintroduction of them. And um, I, li I like the artist on this. I, I like Jerry Ordway. I always like Jerry Ordway. Jerry Ordway was the artist for um, Infinity Inc. Mm -hmm. First comics you were reading, the, mm -hmm. the style with and whatnot. Um, and, and, and I know lots of people really like OMAC, that, that book that's out. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'll tell you where I'm getting at with this here in a second. Uh -huh. Okay, I didn't pick up OMAC. I refused to pick up OMAC. And the reason I refused to even touch OMAC is because um, Dan, Dan Didio, Didio wrote it. And, and he destroyed the Outsiders. He made such a mess of the Outsiders that I just like, you know what? It, this is him. It, this is him. Can't handle it. Well, he's the co-plotter and writer of this book. And it is beyond boring. Uh, I thought that a couple weeks ago when we talked about Green Arrow, that it was the worst of the 50 books I've read to I'd date. Read, I'd read Green Arrow over this right. any day. Right. Cover of this book is awesome. The cover of the book is so that's, amazing. That's Ryan Suck, and mm -hmm. Ryan Suck just rocks it out. But this yeah. was just a... It was, it was. I mean, yeah. It was. A, I mean, trying to introduce these characters and whatnot. It was a. It took way too long to actually get to the potentially the, the challenges of the unknown yet. Um, it, it makes no sense. Maybe they're going to make it make sense and whatnot. Um, I'm very much looking forward to this one getting over with, so we can get on to whatever the next thing is going to be. Yeah, I like anthology sure. books. I like books that are going to tell me a few stories about one character and move on to something new. So I'm really excited about the DC Universe Presents the only as a whole. But like I said. This is um, Dan Didio. Um, I'll give him chops for pushing this whole New 52 thing. I think that's working for him and working for DC. I don't have a problem with that, but please quit writing books. That's all yes, I ask. Yes, thanks. Fire yourself. Um, please. Please. Yeah, anything else you want to say about this? Um, the only thing that was cool about this issue is that it has a very ghost story kind of feel to it. Like, so when the guy has the video camera and he's taking a picture and it blinds him right before... Right before they actually oh, get right. back into focus, it looks like there's a face. Yeah, and the and dash. And then the creature kind of pulls itself. In the windshield. Yeah, and the creature pulls itself out of the ground and eats what's his face. Uh -huh. And that's really random. And then, you know, the helicopter comes in, but it's yeah. on fire, and the but pilot's knocked you, out, and there's a hole in the windshield. Right. So it looks like we snow used, doesn't do that. Snow, yeah. I mean, maybe, if it, maybe a chunk of ice, but snow doesn't do that unless yeah. it's seriously built up. Yeah. Well, and... and um, sorry, I'm Go still going to talk some more. And, um, and, you know, she has a creepy dream, and Ace looks like he's all messed up and freaky. Right. So it does. It has a very, has a very ghost story -ish feel about it. Like, you get to this place, and stuff kind of gets creepy, so maybe we should leave. But then, you know, you can't leave because something happens that, you know, you're right. And, I mean, it also, it, it reminds me of, like, the Haunted Mansion, like, with, What's his face in it? Like the roads get flooded, or the movie oh. that they made of Clue, where right. the roads get flooded and all the telephone lines get cut. It mm -hmm. reminds me of that. Mm -hmm. but see for, with ghosts, right? <laughs> see, for my issue is is where you said all that random stuff, and that's my problem is it's random and not random in a cool way. Random in a yeah in a why <laughs> yeah it's a ran it's random in the same kind of it's not random in the same way that like. Justice League Dark is mm -hmm. random, where it's like, you know, the computer's falling, the cow's giving birth to, um, 
meat tenderizers or meat grinders or um oh right 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 or well or, yeah it's not it's not psycho like yeah. that is that's that's it's cool that's cool on this cool is, like this this yeah. is just like why yeah i mean i understand what they were trying to do with the story trying to introduce these people in a new way because most of the time uh, how the challenges of the unknown come about is they're just normal people living their normal lives and then suddenly wham they become these people mm -hmm. um you know magically scientifically whatever they just become these people but they spent way too much time getting to that point. Um, they refer to reality. This, you know, starts as a reality TV show. They refer to a bunch of other reality TV shows. And to me, if you're going to write a book that's going to last, you don't throw a bunch of things like punked and whatever other t reality TV shows they name in it. Because, you know, 10, 15 years from now, people aren't going to know what the heck that is anyway. Yeah. And if it, heaven forbid, somebody read this 10 or 15 years from now, they're going to go, what is that? I don't even know what that is. Anyway, um, let's let's read it and get on so we can stop smacking it. <laughs> it's I give it a. I give it a one. Uh, I I I, I would yeah. give it a zero, but like I said, some of the random stuff was kind of cool, even though it didn't make much sense. Just because it has the ghost story mystery. Yeah, I give it a one. I hate I hate giving anything a one because I know people actually work on the stuff and whatnot. And I feel bad um, for that. Like I said, I the art was fine. Yeah, maybe the I give I give it a one the, because there's the, good art. The cover was great. Um, man, I hope this is only two issues and not three or four. It might be three. Yeah, so I guess this gives us something to beat up on, so we don't say we like everything. But yeah, that's it's 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 too bad. Anyway. Next up, we're going to talk about um, Nightwing number six. What do you think? Well, I'm just on a bad streak today. I was bored when I read this comic. I mean, I was bored. I just read it, and it didn't... This comic... Are you sure you weren't still in a coma from having read DC Presents? Because you read DC Presents right before no, it? No. No? no okay. okay. Just double check. Not quite. Not quite. No, I just read this, and I just found it boring. I just wanted... When I started reading it... It felt I was reading it to get it over with so we could review it together compared to reading it because the story interested me because I have yet to be drawn in at all by this story, period. Which is a little unfortunate because we came, at least for me anyway, I came in a Nightwing coming off of the high from when he was Batman on Detective Comics and whatnot. And I'm like, yeah! yeah! You know, I've never been a big Dick Grayson fan. I could care less, Robin, whatever. Um... You know, Nightwing, yeah, he was part of the Teen Titans, which I thought was cool, the old, old Teen Titans. Um, but otherwise, whatever. Anyway, up, up to now, uh, I haven't minded Nightwing. It's been, eh, okay. It felt like it took forever to get to the end of this issue. Not just with this issue, but the story so far. Because the story is all led up to this Seiko guy, knowing who he is, and that this is a personal thing. The whole, f where he's in Texas and he's beating up bad guys in Texas because he heard that that's where the guy was getting hired at. Getting this phone number from this fence guy that, that sets up assassins, right? Mm -hmm. And him saying, oh, I know he went off the grid because he's doing something personal. You know, and, and, and Grayson's like, ooh, it's personal. That changes my, my focus on, on who it might be or whatever. And then we get nothing about it. Yeah. Changes it how? I mean, what, what difference does that make? Yeah. I mean, you know, now it's... Now he knows it's personal, and so... Uh, yeah. yeah, and I guess they don't really tell us anything about what's-his-face, about the guy who's psycho, like, what is his name? I Raymond? Yeah. Is his name I Raymond? Remember, I think so. I old, old, remember his old, you name, know, old friend, but, old friend of, um... I think, is it, we kind of thought that it was the guy I that... Have to go back and look. Yeah, we kind of thought that it was the guy that, um, Dick... Um, that treated Dick like a little brother, yeah. and Dick hated him. Back so there then, in the circus. And so then um, he was he pointed out that he because um, he was smoozing with the um, with one of the town gang's girls. Yeah. And ends up getting beat up. Yeah, and then points points him out, and yeah, gets him. At least I at least remember that he can't be uh, he can't. Be in the circus anymore, right. is it? So, so genius? anyway, that's the whole premise here is, is the fact is we can't even remember. It was, you know, four or five issues ago that this stuff happened. And we can't, we, we, we can't really remember it. And it's unfortunate. It feels like this has been a long time getting to what seems to be, what seems to be nothing, uh, un unfortunately. Um, the art looks cool. Yeah. Um, 
Um, Eddie Burrows does a great job, I think, in it as far as that. Uh, oh, actually. You know, fight, for me, the fight seems, the fight scenes seem slick uh. and, and whatnot. I just, um, um. I don't know. There's some, there's, like, there's some stuff in here that bugs me a little bit. Like, where he's setting up the security sensors and he, he um, jumps down. Let's do this a little earlier. Okay. Yeah, right here. And his hair is flipped up because he's jumping down. Well, it seems like, it seems like his hair line was like right here. And like oh right my here. gosh, you're being awful push, nitpicky. It's this like push up here. And then over here where he's like, He's like, thanks, Alfred. I'll try it. I guess it's supposed to look like a sincere face. It looks more like, thanks, Alfred. I'll try. It, it just looks stupid to me. It's like, okay. okay, are you drunk? Are you making a Roy face? I don't know. I don't like it. You you woke up on the harsh critic side of the bed today, didn't you? Uh, no. I, I was. I like, think you did. At any rate, um, like the other half of the so, comic. So what fine. do you so what do you um what do you rate this comic at? Like. A really weak three. Yeah, that's where I'm too. It just doesn't. It doesn't have enough meat to it. Is yeah. the problem. I it's guess just, there, it's this, you know, basically this shell, and it hasn't been filled up like yeah. it should. As um, far as I wouldn't be. As, I'm not saying that you should drop it, but I definitely wouldn't be sad if you did. Well, something may something may have to go for um, some of the books that are coming up that I want to get. At any rate, um, next up is. Um, Red Hood and the Outlaws, number six. Yay! Better comic. This is one of those comics that I was that I started out reading, and I was just like, Ugh, I hate this comic. And then it slowly grew on me, and now I look forward to reading it. And it's like, oh, cool. This comic. This I, is... and I can usually expect, I can usually expect something to be at least good. In it. This was actually a really interesting issue because yeah. what this is, this is like a month before um, issue number one. Is, yeah. what this, is what this timeline is. Um, it it kind of gives us a brief, this is where um, Red Hood comes from mm -hmm. and kind of why he's sour grapes like he is and whatnot. Hints the fact that he doesn't really want to be that way, that to some degree that's kind of a facade and he is walking around with this big pile of hate in him that he's got to try and figure out what to do with. Shows him doing super heroics. He's fighting guys who are trading in, um, nuclear, um, in, in nuclear weaponry. Yeah. Um, and he stops them and partially pays the price and yeah. uh, Coriander, Starfire saves him and, and the whole alien thing there and some stuff having to do with, gives us a little more, a little, fills us in a little bit more on her background. Cori the alien, her background, how she views people, how she views him and whatnot, which I know when those first issues really, you know, pissed people off. They felt like she basically had the brain of a goldfish. Um, she doesn't. She obviously perceives things differently than the rest of us do. I think that's actually kind of a cool thing. Um, yeah, she's not that cute character that was on the TV show, but she was really never that in the comic book anyway. Yeah, um, yeah you know, this is all those books that, you know, I'm gonna, pretty soon I'm going to quit talking about history of all this stuff and just talk about the books that are there. Yeah. But this is one of those books that started out with them, you know, two guys being a bunch of, you know, kind of, stereotypical beer drinking buddies that mm -hmm. like to ogle women yeah. and now has really become actually a pretty cool comic that's, that's given us this really interesting insight into um, you know Red Hood and the other characters that are there and whatnot. So I quite enjoyed that and I really like this um, Kenneth um, 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 Rockcraft um, artwork. Yeah, it's, I like the covers. It's, the covers are cool, cool too. Just yeah. pretty sharp stuff. Mm -hmm. I like this issue. I give it a solid three. A yep. strong three. Yep, yeah. same here. I give it a solid three also. It was, it was a fun read. Yep. Um, it's another book that I quite enjoy when I pick up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Yep. So what's next? Um, Supergirl. I liked number six. I like this issue a lot better than I had the previous issues because the previous issues had not, not bored me nearly as much as Nightwing and Challengers of the Unknown have, but... I picked them up and I was just like, eh, okay, that was okay. It wasn't, it wasn't boring, but it was just, eh, it was just okay. This issue, though, I liked a lot more, and I like the fact that her parents show up to, show up to help her. Yeah. I thought that was cool. I thought that gave us a little bit more emotion for the character, because pretty much it felt like all she'd done so far was show up and, like, go, ah, I don't know what's going on. It felt sure. like this. She was taking... Sure. 
she was taking charge in this issue, and she decided that she was actually going to get some stuff done yeah. instead of... She got past... She moved on. She yeah, moved she on moved her on. initial... She got, past, she got past going, oh, I need to go home, blue, blue, blue. Yeah. And I liked it. And the only thing I didn't like about this comic, really, was that they made me turn the comic sideways. And I really don't mind that. I'm just it having like, on that for fun. Yeah. But I, I liked it. And I liked the way the other destroys the world look. I like the fact that they're still generally yeah. humanoid. Now they're see, creepy. Well, uh, see, that's the one thing I didn't like about the book. I love the art in this book, by the way. This artist is just... He's uh, great. Ah, uh, man, he is. I, 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 love, I love his stuff. Um, the one thing I didn't like was is that, is that their other destroyers of worlds look like part animal, part people, right? Some of them, not I, all of I them. I thought they, I thought they pretty much. Other than her, other than the main, other than, other than the main one, no. other than the main one, I thought they did. And not really. my, I mean, there's two of them. One of them looks like a reptile kind of person, and then the other one looks like a cat guy. But well, I guess that one has like lightning wings. But I mean, a lot of people have wings that are animal-y. right? Because here's well, here's the point about. Anyway, it, that this is this is basically what we're talking about. Yeah. And you're right. The guy in the background. I kind of I kind of not really thought about thought about him. When I look at the other ones, it's like, oh look, cat saber tooth dude and mm, a lizard feathered kind of thing. Okay, and I don't know. It's they come from an alien planet. Why couldn't they look more alien? That's my only that was my only issue with so it. So you're you saying, saying that they didn't look alien? So I'm gonna walk down like the that is no and see saber that is not what I'm saying. But but people? why would they look like a saber tooth? I don't know. Why can they look like something I don't know what it is? Yeah. That's what well, I'm the saying. The back one did. Yeah, okay. I'm just saying. Ah! At <laughs> any rate, so I like the book. I like um, the book. And, and definitely, I, I enjoyed it before. This has stepped up the pace quite a bit. Yeah. I really like this one. You know, she's decided, okay, I got to have a home. My home's going to be here. You know, she lands down there. She says she's going to kick the crap out of the, the, what's her name? Rage? The Destroyer of Worlds. She calls herself something in particular, though. She Wrath does. or, Wrath, right? Sh no. Sure. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> have one of those days. Anyway, yeah. um, I think she's cool. That villain's cool. Yeah. And so now we're going to get this, this wicked, you know, knockdown drag out. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for the fact that you know now she's going to establish herself as being this is where it is. We'll get to see what happens going forward. Although, does she take on? Does she really take on the superhero mantle? Well, obviously she is right now because she's going to try and save the world. So mm -hmm. she's taking on. You know, I love the comments in there. Like when the the military guys are fighting them, and the one guy goes, "Great!" Another one's showing up, and he's like, "Well, I think I like this new girl better because she's kicking the crap out of the other." Yeah. Well, what? So yeah, I just really enjoyed it. I did have one one actual problem though. Um, the thing is, yeah, it was the fact is the aliens look like they're things from Earth that have been mixed together. That's no. what it is, right? Oh, no. Okay. Um, the problem I had was that so she said that um, she had a force field up that nobody could get in through. Uh huh. Why can't Superman break through it? Because Superman's it's, unless it's like some sort of kryptonite infused something, which she didn't make it sound like. I mean, unless it's a really, really good shield. Because it's not magic, it's using the same technology that Krypton did, and obviously that didn't work well for them. So why can't, why can't Superman break through it? I mean, I know they probably wouldn't have Superman break through it anyway, but... Because, because it's an uber force speed. Punk. Okay, I guess. I don't know. I just feel like that if Superman's really all that strong as people make him out to be... He's not and, at this point, though. Really? He's the younger dude. I, I know, but still. He's still strong. Yeah, but maybe not as powerful. I guess. I don't, I don't think so. But, but if that's the case, then what's the reason why Supergirl isn't just as strong as Superman? Good point. You're right. You're right. That actually makes sense. Fine. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I just assume that it's a uber powerful thing. I'm assuming they can't break through it either. I'm yeah. assuming the world people can't break through it. They can turn it off because obviously they're in control of it. Yeah. But I'm assuming if they walk up to it and smacked into it, they wouldn't be able to break through it either. And they're supposed to be all uber. They're supposed to be the thing that destroys everything. Well, yeah, they're world destroyers. They destroy worlds. Supposedly. In theory. They're supposed to. They That's their name. So beyond that, who knows? At any rate, um, yeah, I'm, like I said, in, in, enjoying this comic. Yep. Um, I felt drawn to this comic. More and, I more like and more, I feel like I'm picking it up for me as much as I'm picking it up for um, your sister. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yep. Yeah? Yeah. So what'd you rate it? 
Um, I give it a strong three. Yep. Out of five. Yep, yep. That's what I do too. Mm -hmm. Okay, and last but not least, Wonder Woman number six. Yay! I love this comic. It's so awesome, and I like the fact that she's not... I mean, don't get me wrong, I like Wonder Woman dealing with villains too. Like, I, there's nothing that I don't like about watching Wonder Woman bash Cheetah in the head with her crown. Tiara thing. But it was cool that she is dealing with the gods too, because that's, that's her, like, home ground. Yeah, this, is, has been um, a, this has been a cool storyline. And it, yeah, it's a pretty cool storyline. I love the cover. I mean, it has absolutely nothing to do with the comic, but not very many covers do. And it's drawn by Cliff Chang, so that's, yep. that's pretty awesome. Yeah. And I like the storyline. I like, I like the way that the gods are depicted. Yeah, the, the, this, new, this new version of all the gods are just absolutely cool. Poseidon is, is Poseidon great. Poseidon is a giant like, uh, sea monster. Right. Hades it's, is, it is like, super loud. You know, Hades is this like, little kid with the, you know, the candle stuck on his head and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is the whole deity intrigue as they're all vying for potential power and what Over the heavens because because right now Zeus has disappeared. Yeah, I can't wait to see is what they're really doing cool. with that. Is, yeah. is really cool. It's I mean, awesome. every issue that's had the gods in it and they portray them um, has just been absolutely absolutely fabulous. Um, so um, I'm real curious as to what kind of deals have been struck. Because some deals with Hades was struck that we're not 100% sure we have got the whole picture on that. Yeah. And of course it snatches up our, you know, our person is going to be giving, supposedly giving birth to the next... Demigod. Demigod from Zeus. Well, um, pretty much the last line of Zeus. The most recent, right? Because Zeus sure. is gone. Yeah, but there's lots of them, though. I know, obvious, he obviously. Obviously. He obviously's got lots Wonder of... There's Wonder Woman and her half-brother. Right, so, right. Plus stone skin, apparently. Right. Um, so, yeah, um... Not horribly excited by the art that was in this. Um, that has as much to do with the fact is I just I'm used to Cliff, and I want to see Cliff yeah. do it all. Chris, what happened to Apollo? Because I thought Apollo was going for the. Who says he isn't? They're not dealing with Apollo. They Wonder Woman and her little group think they're working everything they need to work. Obviously, right? Yeah. Meanwhile, in the background, there's this whole other. Side of all that's these that's that's doing their own vying for power and whatnot. Mm -hmm. You know, they're yeah. So it's gonna be, it'll be, it's gonna be cool. They're writing a cool. This is a cool, really really cool um, plot line. Yep, um, definitely. So, yeah, one of my favorite comics that's out. Yeah, for sure. I like it a lot. So, anyway, so what'd you get? Um, I give it a four out of five. Yep, give it a four out of five too. Very yeah. very strong story. Interesting. Always. Giving us the, the the next piece and whatnot. Um, Definitely. So. Exciting stuff. Well, that is it for the second week of February. February. This is the second week. I thought it was the third. You're right. It's the third. Doing a bunch of these together, so it's all blurring for me. <laughs> anyway, good comics. Good week. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Yep. Bye. Bye.